As you've just seen, I've been super busy building this scaddy grinder, but there's still more to come. Today, I'd like to build one more farm and set out some sort of structure for our future village. Hello, Gwentopians. Welcome back. I'm Gwent. You're watching Gwentopia, and it's about time you joined me on today's adventure. Before we get working on our next farm, I want to lay down some foundations. Before we get working on our next farm, I want to lay down some foundations for our future village here. So I'm going to use some cobblestone to lay out some paths and also do a little bit of terraforming just to even the place out just a tiny bit because I still want it to be quite hilly and have lots of different uh, levels of terrain. Is the right word topography? Topography? Something like that. I want, I want contours and, and, you know, that stuff. <laughs> So the first area that I want to tackle is over here. I was thinking I could turn this area into a bit of a lake and I could have um, maybe a fishing hut or something around it. But yeah, I think this little bowl that we have here, maybe down here will be the steepest, the deepest section. Um, but yeah, I think it would make a really good lake. So I'm going to even it out a little bit, fill up the gaps and maybe fill it with water. Who knows? Maybe a shape like this. Let's get it filled with water and we'll see what it looks like. Well, it's not much, but at least it's something. It's a start, and I think we can make this look much, much better. Um, with just a little bit more terraforming and some decorations, I'm sure that this lake will turn into something truly beautiful later in the series. Now I need to figure out some sort of layout for our village. I want it to be more dense in this general area and get less dense as we go over towards the portal over there. That portal's not going to stay over there, we're going to move that somewhere. Um, but yeah, so we need to come up with a layout that's kind of fitting with this area being quite dense and that area being quite sparse. So I'm going to throw down some guidelines for some future roads and some potential future builds that we're going to make in this area. Okay, we've got some of the paths laid down. So straight in front of us over here, um, we're going to have a library here. It's going to be quite a big library, um, but it can't be tall because I want the house to be taller than it. So it just needs to be wide and long, I guess. Uh, but we're going to have a library there. We're going to have the docks down there, a couple of cliff faces here. Uh, this spot is going to be for... Um, I have no idea, apparently. <laughs> I actually gave up on naming the place, some of the places because... I really don't know what we can put here, but um, leave in the, in the comments what you think I could put in this place. Uh, but before you do, make sure you, you listen to, to what else we've got planned for around the site. Uh, so we're going to have a bakery over here. Then down in this ditch a little bit, we're going to have a blacksmith. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to go here. I haven't put a sign there because we've got the animals there for now. Um, then we're going to have our fishing hut down here. And as you can see, I've tried flattening out this ground a little bit. I've still got a little bit more to go. Uh, then back over this way, we are going to have a shrine or a place of worship somewhere around here. Uh, we can have a, a chemist here. I thought it'd be really cool to maybe bring out this mountain a little bit or even set the chemist back into the mountain and just make it look like a real shady place, you know. Uh, then we're going to have the path comes over here to the mine and down here. I didn't know what we were going to do down here, but I thought I'd label this opticians because if you end up in this hole, you need some glasses. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what we're going to put here either. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll come up with something. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Literally have no idea. Um, again, over here, I don't know what I'm going to do. We could have maybe like a... Um, well, I don't know. A quarry? We could we could maybe quarry into this, into this mountain and make it into a stone quarry. And... Then right here, we've got a lumberjack. Oh, yeah, because it's near the forest, so we're going to have some more trees and a nice lumberjack's place over here. I'm going to get rid of that lake. I know I've made another one, but I'm going to get rid of that one. Oh, actually, I could put this one up and then have, like, a waterfall feature. Oh, I don't know. We've got a waterfall over behind our behind our base. We don't really need one over here. We're going to have some cliffs that come along here. We're going to raise this land up just slightly. And I've got to be careful because the mobs are out now. And so we're going to have a path that comes up along here. And it's going to come all the way back here. And this is going to be crop fields, all of this. And we're going to have crop fields the other side as well, probably. The path's going to be winding. It's going to come all the way up here. And 
it's going to lead to, if this creeper will let me get me, it's going to lead all the way back here, crop fields again everywhere, and it's going to lead to our farm, which is convenient that we're here because we're about to build the farm. Uh, we're doing that this episode. So, um, well, I guess sit back, relax, and enjoy the time lapse of the farm. Let's jump to Gwent speed. You would not believe how long it took me to plant all of those crops. It was crazy, actually, having to bone meal so many of them to, to actually get enough seeds to plant all of the crops. Gosh, it took ages. Now, I did notice something in editing, and that was this fence here. This bit of fence actually curves around uh, with the path, and over this side, it doesn't. So I'm actually going to uh, bring this section of fence in a little bit. Uh, just because it was really bugging me. I don't know if it bugged you guys, but oh my gosh, it drove me crazy. Now, I do want to just uh, let you all in on something as well. It has taken me a long time to get this episode out, as you may have, some of you may have realised. Uh, the main reason for that is it took me a lot longer than, than it looked <laughs> to, to actually make this and put it together. But also, I've just been super busy with work uh, and family life, and things have just got in the way of me making videos over the last... Uh, sort of week or so. So uh, sorry this one's out a little bit late. Hopefully the next one will be a little bit quicker and we'll be doing a little bit more in that episode as well. Um, but until then, I'm going to have to say bye-bye because I'm all out of time. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm Gwent Gamer. Goodbye.